All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So I'm just going to get right into it. The title of the video which pretty explains it. People have asked me, oh, you're a Linux reactor. Why don't you react to the Linux, Linux tech tips, Linux challenge videos? It's not a, to me, it's not a real argument. Luke's approach is more open and understanding to the fact that it's a different OS, is a different platform. And Linus tangentially only mentions that Windows or Mac OS have their problems. But he takes a Windows and Mac OS approach to those to this completely different platform that he is shockingly, surprisingly, not fucking familiar with on a GUI portion. Using Anthony shit doesn't count. Or being a being a server admin for on a Linux system doesn't count when it comes to the desktop. It's a different experience. So I'm not saying there hasn't been anything of value to come out of this. Things like uh, app not being able to totally bork, you know, Plasma or Pop OS anymore because of trying to install Steam. Totally valid. I will say that that particular incident, I'm going to blame both. I'm going to blame the distro maintainer because I'm going to point the finger at the person who maintains the fucking distro, which it happened on. Ironic. Point the finger at the right person. And in this case, I'm going to also blame the user because while, yes, app threw up a whole bunch of wall of text, as people would say, you did end up typing, yes, do as I say. And as a technically inclined user, it's kind of on you, bruh. Luke's, Luke is taking this in an open approach. Luke is understanding of this. Yes, Luke has tried Linux before. What I will say is, out of the two, Luke is taking the right approach in understanding that Linux is going to be different. Has its pros and cons. So, my biggest issue with the LTT stuff, though, besides that one Pop OS thing, it wants, it, if he's going to claim, oh, I'm taking a new user approach. Bro, most people aren't going to nuke and pave their OS off a custom-built machine, first off, moron. Second of all, if you're going to go that route, most generic end users are just going to go buy a fucking pre-built machine from a random OEM. Insert OEM. Doesn't matter if it's a Mac. It doesn't matter if it's a Windows machine. So if you're going to do take the new user approach, then moron, buy from a Linux OEM, compare it to a Windows experience or Mac experience. That's a new user experience, not what you're doing because I'm going to dumb this down to gamer levels. So people understand why I have a problem with your approach. I've said that I get tired of hearing that oh, this application doesn't work. Well, no shit. You don't apply that same logic to iOS, Android, Mac OS, windows apps, etc. to working on the other platforms. So we're going to use visual aids because people don't seem to fucking understand this. Doesn't work on Xbox. Doesn't work on PlayStation. Doesn't work on anything but the console it's designed for. Only console it was designed for. I'm not expecting it on Xbox anytime soon. And I don't expect them to run on my fucking switch. But that's your mentality because you're expecting stuff like this. Oh, well, it's the same size cartridge, like casing and stuff. So it should be the same. No, it's different. Oh, hey, look, it uses a disc. So it should be the same. No, it's a different piece of hardware. Basically, Linus, you are expecting your Fire Emblem three houses to work on your fucking Xbox. Your approach is crap.